All right, I'm accelerating at a rate of 9.8 meters per second squared. That's Newton's gravitational constant. I've been falling for about 10 seconds now. That means I can't go any faster than this because I've reached terminal velocity. All right, Roman, and I, uh, are you ready to catch me? Wow, lucky for me this pool is right there. Now, when I was in the water, I was floating upright because of a force called buoyancy. That kept me afloat. Now, when I was in the water, I was rather cold. That's because heat froze from high temperature to low temperature. And when I was in the water, my body was warmer than the water was. <coughs> what is that sound? And that sound, when I heard, was from my didgeridoo, which creates sound using resonance, which creates a standing wave in the tube, makes vibrations and such, makes sound. Isn't that right, Elijah? Precisely. Smashing! Alright, I'm in my time machine now. It uses 1.21 gigawatts of electricity to power the circuits that are in parallel, so everything has the same voltage. Now, are you guys ready to time travel? Yeah! Okay, Otto, you're good to go. Okay, so the momentum of an object is its mass divided by its speed or velocity. Momentum is always conserved. I thought Ronnie was in the car. Uh huh. And now time for Lenses with Roman! Get out of my house! <laughs>